Well, I think it stems from the feeling of uh, uh, disappointment from the Western side with regards to Iran sticking to its position <clears throat> and not be willing to um, to compromise. <coughs> Sorry, I think that's where it comes from. I think the Western countries are are, are feeling um, angry by the fact that number one, uh, they they did all those negotiations with Mr. Rouhani, and then when the new government of Mr. Ra Easy came. They uh, wanted to redo the whole agreement again, and they said, "Whatever you agreed with the, with Mr. Rouhani, we don't accept it." And then from then on, uh, they started renegotiating some of the points, and the, the Western countries still believe that some of Iran's demands are are unacceptable. And I and I can assume at this point, although no one really knows, one of those demands is that all sanctions, not just nuclear sanctions, but all sanctions by the Trump administration are to be removed. And this is something. Thing that uh, that uh, P5 plus one uh, is uh, unwilling to do. And what's your read on the Iranian side here? We heard this some signs of progress, but I believe that came with the big if uh, the, if the West or if the other powers meet Iran on those maximalist demands you detailed there. Uh, is there a sense they're buying for time, or in reality seeking some form of compromise? They're, they're, they're sending a message to their uh, population in Iran that we are okay. It's not us. We're making great progress presenting our position. It's the other side that's the problem. And if we don't reach an agreement, the great progress we've made is the other side's fault for not accepting our demands. Of course, Iran has been wronged in the past during the Trump administration uh, by Trump walking out of the nuclear deal. But um, this is just theatrics. The Iranians all the time say, yeah, we're making great progress. It's basically, um, we found this not to be true, that we found this to be great exaggeration and distortion of the real situation. And I think they're just trying to prepare themselves for the possible scenario that the talks fail. Then they can say, look, we were making great progress. It's the other side that did not cooperate by not agreeing to our terms. And this is why the talks fail. Uh, Mayor, it appears uh, increasingly pessimistic, let's say, that a deal will emerge on this now. Is it, are we aware of any talk about the other issues, particularly the ones concerning Israel, regional activity, ballistic missile development, any of those things being discussed as far as we know? Forget it. Forget it, David. It's over. It's not being discussed. And this is why some uh, Republicans have written a letter to the Biden administration saying that the need deal needs to be uh, approved by the Congress. In reality, it doesn't because the deal has already been approved by the Congress during Mr. Mr. The, during Mr. Obama. I mean, it, it doesn't need to be, I mean, in the, the fact remains that it doesn't need to go back to the Congress. And they are demanding that other issues, such as Iran's presence in the region is discussed, the uh, Iran missile program is discussed. You want this, David, I want this to be included, but we we'll, we have to live with reality. It's not going to happen. And we have to basically live with what we can achieve realistically. And that is hopefully, and I'm using hopefully with a capital H, a return to the to the JCPOA. If we don't get that, then we're going to be in trouble. But the Iranian side is going to be the much bigger trouble than us. We'll stay tuned for any developments there, Mayor Jevadanfar. Thanks for being with us.